I initially thought, ew, gross on a stick, but the nose is on point, which is why I believe this whiskey will turn around. Welcome back to the doctor's office. I'm the American Scotch doctor, Dr. Dave, and today I'm gonna be smelling, tasting, reviewing, and letting you know what I think of this single malt Scotch whiskey that is Glen Goyne 12 year old. It makes me not excited to drink whiskey. One of the most unpleasant whiskeys I have tasted all year. Thanks everybody for stopping by. If this is your first time, make sure if you haven't hit the subscribe button that you do so. So this is actually a 43% alcohol by volume. I really wish it was a little higher. Uh, this is a natural color. Uh, so, and this is a really beautiful color here. I got a little new uh, nose and capita glass just last night. And I actually poured two glasses because I want to see if there's a difference between the noses. I really like the nose with this one because it's almost like a lot more air is able to come around with this one. So the nose on this, it's very soft fruits, a little toffee, vanilla. It's rich, but at the same time, it's very, very soft. Wow, I can't believe the change in this whiskey. I don't know if maybe there was something wrong with me the day I opened this. I was really excited to open it too. It wasn't that I was having any sort of a weird day. I was really excited to open it. And and I, I, was, I mentioned some of my notes earlier. I mean, I literally was writing, ew, gross on a stick. Black pepper whiskey, question mark, needs time to rest. I even wrote on here, bad sherry cask, question mark, but after I wrote that, I really had, had commented myself that because the nose is so nice, I feel like it was going to come around quite a bit. Right now, I'm getting almost this prune scent, like a mixture between fresh fruits and dried fruits. But almost the, the dried fruits are overrunning quite a bit. Sweet oak presence. The nose is really nice without any water. As soon as you take this drink without any water, it has so much character. Mm. Barley sugars. Oh, so sweet. And the legs on this, let's go over the legs. The legs. I can't believe how thick some of these legs are. Well, a lot of them take quite a while for them to really start to come down. Oh, it's so magnificent. It's like a jam. It's like a syrup. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of water. It's one of the few whiskeys that I don't really feel that I want to add that much water. I'm just going to add one, two, three drops. I know people probably are like, what the heck is three drops going to do? I always really enjoy adding water. I feel like it always brings out the oak notes more. Um, generally, not always, it'll, not always does it subdue the spicy notes, but that prickle that you get on the nose, and sometimes you'll see me really get my nose down deep in a glass, but realize that I am not going, I'm not taking big whiffs. And again, I always breathe through the mouth slightly. Still those dried fruits, that oak, sweet vanilla, barley rich. I will be reviewing more Glen Goins in the future. That's the first time, rather than it being a spicy note, like a pepper note, I'm tasting the burnt oak wood. From, you know, from the charring of some sort. No sulfur notes. No sulfury notes like I was getting the first time when I poured this. This tannic taste. 
I'm not getting any of that right now. Um, honestly, anybody that drinks whiskey, this is a whiskey that you should try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Product of Scotland. No way. Yep, our stills are Scotland's slowest. I wish it was a little bit higher percentage, but that's not the end of the world. Who shouldn't drink this whiskey? Somebody who it goes against their religious beliefs? Anybody under the age to drink? Anybody with a um, personality towards addiction? Maybe I'll stop reviewing whiskeys and just keep drinking Glen Coin 12. <laughs> forgot to give this a script score during the recording but I'm gonna go ahead and give this an 89 out of 100 uh, with this being under $60 per bottle out the door I think under about 55 bucks out the door uh, one of the best bottles I've had all year and again it took me a minute to work through that don't open this up and just expect it's gonna be the winner right off the bat uh, but 89 out of 100 thank you your honor I'll just say, the doctor stopped reviewing whiskeys because he found a bottle that's worth it. Because that's the thing, you could spend a lot of money on disappointments. And that's that's half of the battle. I mean, that's half of the fun. But it's so enjoyable to get a bottle that you go, I worked pretty hard to buy this, and I'm really enjoying it. Because you can't say that about a lot of bottles. And that's why I think I'm going to start really focusing on bottles like that, because it's not that fun to have disappointment. And I know there's a lot of bottles that people go, oh, you should try this. Or like, can you review this? Because, you know, they've drank it and they want to know what I think of it. But this is right, at least right now, this is my, like, some serious money that I'm dumping into this. And I don't want to talk about that too much. But um, reality, I mean, I, I'm having, like, I'm having to really plan this out very decisively about how I'm going to, pay for all of these bottles that I'm reviewing every week. So thanks everybody for joining me today. Make sure if you enjoyed this, hit the subscribe button, thumbs up if I didn't already say that. Let me know if you guys need anything, leave that in the comments. I'm here to help as well, not just with Scotch whiskey advice, but I also wanna make sure that you guys are living happy and healthy. And if alcohol is causing you an issue, maybe it's time to put it in the closet. I'm not a real doctor. But Dr. Dave wants you to take care of yourself. Salam Jeeva. Hey, and next week I'll do the neck to door review. See you everybody, guys and gals. I'm calling you gals now. Welcome back to the doctor's office. I'm the American Scotch Doctor, Dr. Dave. Today I have a bottle of Glen Goyne 12. It's natural color, 43% alcohol by volume. On the nose, oh man, toffee maybe? I don't know about the toffee. One of the most unpleasant whiskeys I have tasted all year, or for a long time.